Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to run a benchmark test between the Nexus 5 and the iPhone 5S. This is the latest from Google as far as the Nexus goes. It's a great phone, as is the iPhone 5S. Let's see which one does better using Geekbench, 3D Mark, and then we'll do a real world test using Safari and Chrome. Let's first open Geekbench. Now I've just booted these phones, so nothing's running. You can see here, no recent apps, no recent apps on either phone. And we'll open Geekbench. So you can see we have the Nexus 5 running Android 4.4. We also have a Qualcomm 2.27 quad core with two gigabytes of RAM. We have an iPhone 5S running iOS 7.0.3, 1.29 gigahertz A7 processor dual core with one gig of RAM. So run the benchmarks. Now I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait as long, but we'll just let this run and see what the scores are. I do have screen brightness up on both, just in case anyone was wondering. And you can see the iPhone 5S is completed, 1413 for single core score and 2562 for multi-core score. It's almost done on the Nexus 5. And you can see we have a single core score of 929 with a multi-core score of 2737. So they're kind of even, but not even in different ways. Let's move on. We'll close that out, close this out, and we'll move on to 3D Mark. Now for both of these devices, we'll probably run the Ice Storm Unlimited since it should be able to handle it on each either, and we'll run that. Again, I'll speed this up to save us some time. You can see the iPhone 5S is finished with a pretty high score of 14,515, but the Nexus 5 beats it out with a score of 17,667. Both pretty impressive benchmarks. You can see here's the different details. I won't read them to you, but you can look over them here briefly. And you can see OS version 4.4 on this one. We'll move on. I will open Safari and Chrome. Now they're both on the same Wi-Fi network, should be pretty similar anyway. The signals are about the same. So you can see they loaded pretty quickly. Different scrolling effect, but both pretty fast. Let's go to the LifeProof case and just open another link. They both finish right around the same time. We'll play a video. Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Solo Tech. We're going to take a look at the So you can see it runs much faster on the Nexus. So that has to do probably with memory. Everything on both phones seems to be really fast, but in certain areas, the Nexus 5 is better, and in certain areas, the iPhone 5S seems to be better. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.